Hello everybody, Garnet here, and welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended on the Center. I've made a few changes overnight, as one can tell. I've got a bunch of lights up here, so you can actually see in the base a lot better than usual. This over here, I added another layer to our storage in a nice kind of creative way of accessing everything. So as long as these, this is kind of open, I can get to every single one of these boxes here, and we'll be able to have more dedicated storage until we get to the point where I might be able to do the tech ones. Uh, I was I hatched up a few of the aloes, so now we have six females and the one male, so we'll get those in rounds of six. I've got a bunch of eggs here, so we'll be able to hatch those up soon, and I will be able to uh, get some mutations going for real. Uh, well, I also decided to hatch up a few of the Rex eggs, and I was actually super lucky. Let me climb down here real quick. Ah, I didn't, let, didn't grab onto the ladder in time. But I do have the perfect male and perfect female Rexes. I was super lucky. I only hatched about six eggs or so. And they were actually just sitting there. And I double checked that everything was accurate. And yeah, sure enough, we already have those up and going too. Which will be amazing. As for what the plan is for today, I was actually thinking about going over into the cold area to collect up some organic polymer for some from some Kairuku. But I do want to get a Pelagornis, so we can actually get a lot of it in one go. I'm the wrong thing. I'm after some Tranks. So we want to have a good amount of these. I'm hoping that it's not going to be too powerful and that we're going to accidentally kill the Pelagornises. But uh, we'll have to go and search for one of those. So let's take off on one of these guys. And as I was showing stuff off, I'm sure you also noticed that we have a yet another treasure map. So I'm actually going to see where that is first thing, and we'll probably go grab that before we search for more Pelagornis. So it's on that north island over there. Okay, I'm going to head off in that direction, and we'll see what we get today. I wonder if it'll let me dig it up right here. Is this close? We're within 100, so we should be able to pull this up. All right. Treasure maps haven't let me down so far. Let's see what we get today. Well, I guess to, there had to be some day that it would happen. All right. I'll hold on to this stuff. I'll grind this stuff down for some materials. I'm going to have some fishing stuff, and that'll be good. It's fine. Okay. So I know that we get a good amount of Pelagornis out towards the beaches, kind of in between the lands here. I saw a few kind of near the other side of the island where the beach base is. I don't remember what levels the Pelagornis were that were near the base, but... I do know that I have to make sure I'm cautious about where I knock them out. They do like to fly over the water, and I don't want to end up killing them in there, and or knocking them out in the water, and then they end up drowning. The other thing I have to be concerned about is they only eat fish. So I have to kill that Zyphactinus, or other things like it, so I can get a bunch of fish meat. Yellow drop with the ring on it. Cool, and the water right next to everything here. Definitely can't pass up this kind of a drop. Even if it is not going to be the easiest to make sure I get it safely. Oh, I hear Zyphactinus under the water. Yeah, I may not take this after all. I do see them actually, like right there. There's an 80 and a 90. Is it just those two? Could I kill them and get to it? Did I scare them away? No, it's coming after me. That's not good. Oh, 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 what? Maybe that was a really stupid idea. Why? What? What is going on? Oh my god, what? Oh no, push me in the water! Don't hit the Pteranodon! Oh my god. Dude, are you good? It's 
so much craziness just happened from me t trying to attack this thing. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Honestly, land down right here. Right here. No! God. I I shot the freaking Pteranodon. I've killed the truck the freaking Zyphactinus. You land here. You're half dead. Stay. I need this, and it better have been worth my freaking effort here. Get back out now. Please actually have been worth it. Nope. Cool. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. I got a freaking RG on you. Whoa. Can I, can I hop on, please? Thank you. We're getting out of here. Alright. I have learned my lesson. No more stopping for yellow drops in the water. Or anything else. Unless I'm on a water creature. That was way too dangerous to have done. Okay, so I do remember that on this side of the island, a couple of the Pelagornas had flown out this far. There's one right there. What are you? 25? Yeah, not, not as lucky as I have been with some of the other things. 95. 135. I will gladly take a 135 Pelagornis. I just have to make sure we take out some of the dangers on this beach. Just saw a raptor this way. It's level 110. This guy should be okay to take him. We'll just kind of try to make sure we get these headshots as best we can. It is so red over here. That is a crazy view. Oh my goodness. Alright, are you the 135? You are. Okay, great. I do want to try and make some bolas. Can I... I mean, I don't have anything that I... I I'm going to need everything else. Let's see. Did you get the hide from the raptor? You did. You should at least help with that. He's just landing down right next to me. This may work out perfectly. Uh, where did it land? Where did, where did it go? Okay. Six. Alright, again, make sure you're impassive so you don't end up attacking him. Also, don't block me. <laughs> Maybe I need to just stop following me now. You should be okay just to chill here. And he's landing again. Nice! Thank you for joining us. Let's try not to kill him now. Oh, okay. I really didn't need the bola then. That's good to know. So what I do need to do now, is we need to get him some fish. I wonder if... I wonder if maybe I should have tried to harvest those Zyphactinus that I just fought. Uh, it's fine. We'll find some more in the water just nearby. I'm going to put them on the tracker. I don't believe that these guys needed anything to stay knocked out. But I'll just kind of keep collecting narco berries while I'm over here just in case. Don't need a repeat of that angler fish. Okay, progress. Okay, I'm going to try to get some prime fish meat. Which the Zyphactinus do seem to give. So if there's a couple nearby, that'd be great. Hello? Oh, I see you. I saw something. What is going on down there? <laughs> it sounds so scary. Oh, they're doing the blood frenzy thing. Which, honestly, is probably scarier. Are you still after me? Yes, you are. As long as you don't try to grab me from the surface, I'm fine. I don't even know which one I'm shooting now. Just gonna keep shooting them all. Oh, Lord. You are very scary. You don't need to try for that. Oh, are they all running off now? No way. Land on this little island. They should all be right over here now. <gasps> Holy crap! It did try to come after me. What are you doing? No, stupid Dillo. Okay, hold on, hold on. They're all pretty hurt. Oh lord, that one's actually coming for me. 
Man, I have gotten so bad with my aim. I, there's, I'm just literally panicking every time I'm taking a shot. Oh, God. I mean, this for good reason for some of these, honestly. Wasn't there another one that was close? Oh, that one's really close. Yep. All right, cool. We got one. We got two. Nice. Okay, so. Let's harvest their fish meat. Uh, the other ones are still kind of close. I wouldn't be able to get that one without killing them. Let's try. They are so wiggly. Okay, I got another one. And I got the other one. Sweet. Uh, was there five or four? I don't even know now. Piranha? Oh, you jerk. Oh, there's a piranha eating them too. Man... Okay, I have not looked up anything for Dodo Dex for this one, by the way. I'm hoping that this will be close to what we need. Probably not, though, honestly. Probably going to have to rely on normal fish meat a little bit as well. But I figured since the, the Zyfactiveness has made it a little bit easier to get to uh, get some of the Prime. So I may as well have gone for some. Oh my... You... I should have made you stop. <laughs> fish. Raw prime fish meat. How much per one? Okay, yeah, we're gonna need normal as well. Fish. Meat. 50. We'll put that in there, just so that it has something and it won't lose effectiveness due to the, uh... The lack of food. I just want to hit them. There we go. Lovely. Oops, you get out of my face. And now I'm afraid that it's going to bite me. Okay, it's a piranha. I got a little bit too deep for my own good. Oh, crap. Yeah, same deal. I can actually attack now, though, which is good. Unlike last time. Last time I just had to take it and I died. You stay and you die on the beach. You die on the beach like a fish. Are you, I'm assuming you're like the level 100 or something, right? You have to be. There we go. Now the 40 is going to grab me. But it'll let me stab it this time too, which is great. As long as I don't stay under the mesh after the fact. Okay. That is much better. I That first time, I don't know what happened and why that was the case, but, you know. Ah, oh, you little demon. Are you serious right now? I didn't even get any from that one because of this guy. Again! It's not even coming out. Oh, there he is. That's what you get. Okay, I got one. Get up out of the water. Back into the water. Okay, it's aware of me. What? How did you get me from there? You should not have been able to get me from up there. That's nuts. If you were on the surface, yeah. But you were not on the surface. Alright, well. I think I should be done fighting crazy fish for one day. Hup! Let's go! Awesome, we got the guy tamed. I'm going to name you Laggy. Nope, that's Laddie. You know what? Actually, Laddie's kind of cool too, anyway. So, Laddie here did lose quite a bit of levels and effectiveness due to me not having Prime the entire time, nor the Kibbles, but honestly, his main purpose will be to collect the organic polymer off of penguins, and uh, 185 should do just fine. We'll just grab all of what we have here and fly back to base and prepare to go to the snow. So a little bit of time has passed. I did hatch up a few aloes, and I chose this guy here to be the one that we go into the snow with. I'm going to try to get him fully imprinted, and then we'll head over that direction once he's fully grown. Okay, so we just want to walk for this first one. That is easy enough. How many are we going to need to fully imprint these guys in the future? Oh, and there we are, so 63%. So yeah, we're going to have to imprint them twice. Not bad, not bad at all. 
Oh, what do you need? Oh, okay. I already have that. So we've got him fully imprinted. Perfect. So now we just have to wait for him to grow up. Okay, now he's all grown. Let's just place a saddle on him. Only thing we have left is to get him all healed up and then we'll take off. Little trick I've learned recently is that if you use cooked meat instead of raw meat, they actually get eight health back instead of about five. That makes it a little quicker to heal him back up. That's close enough. I know it's dark outside, but we're gonna head out now. Sure, we'll be totally fine. Heading down this very dark corridor. So as we're heading over there, I will show you what else I've done in preparation. I did grab a couple of my fur armor pieces, and then I grabbed the... I made up one of the Pelagornis saddles that we got the blueprint for the other day. Ooh. So I am actually going to level this guy up a little bit before we fully head out, but I do want to see how much damage he does by default now that he's fully imprinted. Still seems that stamina is going to be our main pain point for these guys. But, what does he do damage-wise? 373 with a headshot. And then 186 by default, just with a normal hit? That's really not bad at all. Considering there's no levels put into him, he's just imprinted from our best stats. I'll take it. So in my first round of hatching eggs, I actually did find a melee mutation. That's actually really crazy. I'm going to uh, have you stop, and I'm going to rename you melee. Because I just checked over there, and their melee is at 340-something, and this guy's at 355. That's absolutely crazy. First mutation we even get is one that we want. So we'll do one melee male. I'll let him grow up, and I'll still kind of clean up the rest with this guy over here. That is insane. I can't believe that. Okay, we are right back at it now. I've leveled him from 235 to 281. I did three rounds of eggs, and I can't believe we got that melee mutation right off the bat. That'll be a great start. Once he's grown up, we'll plug him into the breeding spot, and he'll take over from here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the snow area, and we're going to check that out. See if there's anything going on along the way there. I mean, we do have to go through the swamp for that to happen, so you never know what kind of craziness we might run into. Okay, I think if we try to cross from here should, fingers crossed, have the least amount of problems getting over there. See if I have to change my gear in the middle of doing so. Oh my gosh. He's very strong, by the way. There's a good amount of damage. So fingers, I mean, if we end up needing to run into something, I should be okay. Yeah, there's a barrier right there. It's level 30. Should kill it. We want to try to get higher levels if we can help it. 250 damage, though. Wow. So that is with no boosts whatsoever. It's just the... Uh, oh my... What the... Giant pile of creatures. Let's just clear them out. Ah, now I can't see. You were in that, Dillo. Truly did. I'm kind of surprised with the amount of experience that that just gave me. More into melee. Okay. Not bad at all, honestly. I mean, he's got 13,500 health. 560% damage now. And the uh, 2,200 stamina, so... You know what? I'm very impressed with how this guy is so far. Not even... Doesn't even have any mutations in him yet. I think this does technically count as the cold area. I mean, I am freezing, so I do need to probably put on some fur now. We need some Sarko skin for the future anyway. Is the one piece enough? Let's do two. There we go. I do know over here there are Euteranuses and stuff, and Mammoths. Mammoth could be a good option for wood. Could be even better than how woody is at the moment. Seeing a UT over there. Level 130. Oh man. Don't want to get scared off now. We just got over here. And you know what? I just thought of the worst thing that could happen is a Yudi could scare you off and you can literally just jump into the big vault, uh, the big waterfall. I can't believe that hasn't crossed my mind before. It's a terrifying thought. Maybe if I go this way, we can find a way up onto the mountain more instead of just uh, 
kind of running around the outside edge. Oh, Megaloceros. I really need to find myself a uh, high-level male of those so I can get a lot of thatch. It's a very good thatch collector. Would you look at that beautiful view? Got all that pink light in the air. And then you see the obelisk in the distance. I love it. I love it so much. There we go. Now the sun's fully out. Is that a cave right there? No, that's just reflected. That's just stuff from the snow. For a second I thought it was just an unloaded spot. If it was though, that would definitely explain why the uh... Like it lagged so much a second ago. <laughs> trying to knock me out with a tree. What was that? Was it the rhino hitting them? Just happened to hit me too? So I can't fully recall where the penguins are over here. I know that I don't think that they're up on the mountain. I think they're kind of past it on the other side. So maybe if I keep going up this direction, I will find my way to them. Keeping an eye out, because I do remember that there were a couple snow caves, like, just along these mountain regions. If I at least know where it is, we can come back to here when I'm fully prepared to do them. And a 145. I... I'm gonna keep a mental note of where this is, unless this Rex come kills it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna defend it. No. You will not kill this man. Are you part of a group that's with a... There we go. I'll come back for this Megaloceros. In fact, I'm going to mark it on my map. Wrong button. We are right here. Okay, there we go. Got a little mark around here, so I'll remember to come back here at some other point. Oh, there's a penguin here. I thought there weren't any penguins at the top of here. I guess I was wrong. Let's give this new guy a shot. Got to put a saddle on him anyway. All right, laddie. Take your saddle. We'll put all of it into weight for now. It's not very high as it is. There are some RGs here, but... Okay, there we go. We do specifically want to get baby penguins, because they give more. 156 for those two. Now, I did also bring my club to kind of have a comparison, because the club is the best tool to collect with. So if I have you stay here, laddie. Let's find another little penguin real quick. There's a baby right here. So here's a baby penguin. Okay, so the club is supposed to be... Oh. <laughs> the club is supposed to be the best choice to collect by hand. Uh, and we got... We got about, you know... A fifth or so of what Laddie gets with one collection. Or like at least a third, because there were two of them around there, huh? So you don't get as much from the parents, but you still do get some. And they're after they're mad at me because of what I did, so may as well um, get what I can. Uh, let's put him away again for now. He'll have a saddle and everything ready for when next time we find a bunch more penguins, but that just shows you kind of why I made sure to tame one of those. Definitely are up at the peak of the mountain. Kind of looks like this would be a pretty good place to build a base, to be honest. Other than the creatures here, of course. I mean, it's a big, flat area. That's kind of almost exactly where I normally want to try to build. It would be really cold to build up here without having fur and everything already, but I think it would be kind of cool to have a, like a secondary base or something up here. Or if you had a base with a bunch of air conditioning, like right off the bat. Like, this would be a really nice place to be. I guess there's also the cave to consider if you get lag spikes like I just did. So, maybe maybe not. So I think what I want to do is try to get over near the green obelisk. If I remember right, they were kind of near that, where the larger groups of penguins were. I mean, we just saw that there were a couple over here, but it's definitely not their main area. I mean, it seems it was a pretty good idea to come over here on an aloe. Almost nothing is aggroing, aggroing on me. That may be the case inside the cave as well. I know there's one I think that's mostly underwater, and then another one that's just in the in the mountain. 
I say mostly underwater. It just, it goes underwater for a good section. Okay. The yellow here seems to be done with the snow and wants to at least get over to the other still cold but less snowy area of the map. It's a cool section of the map, no pun intended. Definitely want to have a, uh, probably a little bit better to use a flyer to get to the entrances to some of these caves and then go in on foot after the fact. Jeez, that is a large drop. Oh my, I won't fall down there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remembered correctly. That looks like something that's built specifically for a bunch of penguins to live on. Uh, so we'll just have to work, I'll work our way down there. I was kind of, I was definitely wrong thinking I could get there from where I went. I may have to pull off the the jump and dismount type of thing, and that doesn't look like I got much of a choice. Well, let's see if I can tame this right. I'd, I'd rather him not take that much damage. I can take more. Okay. <laughs> I can see a couple of them over there already. Nice. I probably should have tried to level Laddie up a little bit, to be honest. Level him up on some aloes at the base that aren't going to attack him. Get a little bit more carry weight and damage. But it's fine. Alright, let's see. Bring out Laddie. And pick up this aloe. Come up with a name for him later on. Let's get ourselves a bunch of organic polymer. It's already pretty full, actually, so we probably want to we want to toss this meat and whatnot. And I need to put this on him because the weight is gone down to a fifth. Bright orange over the bright blue. Gotta love it. So the bunch of baby penguins right here. I mean, he's not going to do a lot of damage on his own, but I don't think penguins have a lot of health, so. Okay, we'll collect up this one, and then we'll probably be where we need to be. Oh, and also, if you didn't know, you can actually land on the water on these uh, on this flyer. You can even fish off its back, which is a crazy fun thing you can do. I may have, I may end up doing that later on, but this also kind of leaves me susceptible to piranhas and other things. Okay, off we go. I've got a long way to trek back with this guy. <laughs> so it's going to be a few times I've got to stop. We made it so far. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, maybe trying to go for the floating island from that was a mistake. Doesn't have very much stamina at all. Ooh. As long as I'm here, it won't just disappear on me. Cause me to fall into the abyss and die. Land somewhere and get your stamina back. And level up and add that to stamina. In fact, is this spot good enough? Yes. Lovely. More stamina. That's weight! Okay, well, I'm dumb. Probably gonna level this guy up on some of the aloes back at home because he is not fast and he does not go very far per run. A little worried I wasn't gonna make it up that waterfall. Also, I was kind of worried something was gonna bite me the moment I went over that. So close to home. I've had to stop so many times due to this thing's low stamina. We definitely have to get that hiked up a little bit. But honestly, it is a great addition to our collection team. Most of them are going to kind of just be used in cryopods going forward, though. Like, I'm going to uh, travel over somewhere, either on foot or on a different creature, and then I'll bring these guys for the collection, and then depending on what creature I'm on, I'll just have that one carry it back. Main thing in this, in this Pelagornis' favor here, it actually makes the uh, organic polymer much lighter. We've officially made it home now on Laddie. 
The unfortunate thing is... Oh, the one melee mutation guy's all grown up now. Nice. That's not unfortunate, though. The unfortunate thing is... You can't actually put organic polymer into anything to keep it from spoiling. So I'm hoping, and I don't think that I do have everything that I need for this, but I want to see, can I make a forge? I'm short only crystal. You know what? If that's all I'm short, I'm going to run and grab that right now. And we're going to get that thing made up. Maybe not on you. Let's grab Arthur. Hopefully this will get us enough. I actually think that that's not enough, and I'm going to have to fly to a different spot. That's dumb. Also, yellow drop. Uh, no more yellow drop. That's stupid. Why'd you do that to me? Again, stop teasing me. It's not fair. It's at like 143. I'm short by 20. Don't be this way, game. If I didn't use so much uh, crystal up on these frickin' greenhouse pieces, then maybe it would be better, but it's fine. So we should have enough now. If I do the forge, pull for the forge, turn it on, let's craft this guy. Beautiful. So, we've got ourselves an industrial forage. Where exactly do I want it? That's the question. Maybe right here? If I, like, place it... Or, like... Ooh, like so. That could do. That way it's not really in the way. But it's somewhere that can be accessed throughout the entire base. I think that is a fine place for it. Don't really have any metal to cook up right now. I've got a little bit. And then we also have some wood. that I'm I'm just going to cook all this up so we can get some more charcoal. It has been nice having Mios running the forges without needing to use any wood. But it definitely is a downside of not having any uh, charcoal being made. So if you just continually load this thing up with it that will help us keep that going and then I can probably hmm, I mean I wonder like, is this too I think that would have been too tall to place underneath there so I'm going to keep these going forward I might use them to make the gasoline for the uh, the generators as well as probably try to keep them running for even more charcoal so we could always have plenty of that up and going uh, before I end it, I do want to go double check. It can we, by any chance of luck, can we also make the chemistry bench? No, I definitely can't. We are definitely short on all of the electronics. Okay, so we'll definitely have to go and get ourselves a bunch of silica pearls and so we can make those electronics. We'll probably need to go and retry that angler fish that we failed the other day. I really want to get that chemistry bench up and running so I can get a lot more gunpowder made. So we can start focusing in on more of the uh, upgraded stuff past this crossbow here. It is very strong, but I do want to have something a little bit more, you know. Uh, I, want to have, I want to kind of evolve from this point on, so to speak. I don't really have any good blueprint for guns. I did find that one. I mean, I've got the shotgun blueprint, but that's going to require a lot of metal. So I may also need to go and take Duncan out for... A couple more runs to see what we can find there. I did also find... I think there was a pistol, right? That's only 152, though. 153. Not super crazy. So we'll also have to... I'll just have to go out and see if I can find a... Uh, some blueprints. Kind of go a little bit of a uh, drop hunting spree. But I do think that will do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have anything to bring up about this series or any of the others going on, just let me know in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!